question 38 is basically asking us to identify a trend that is true for both the fair weather days and the dust storm days that is the two sets of data this set of data which is for the dust storm days and this set of data which is for the fair weather days um, so the options are firstly silicon and iron were present at much lesser concentrations in the particles than was sulfur and copper and remember that we have to find a trend that is true for both so let's look at fair weather days and we can see clearly that iron and silicon have concentrations of greater than zero and more than 0 0.5 at a lot of points whereas um, sulfur and copper have very very low concentrations their concentrations are always lower than 0 0.16 um, so this is definitely not F because F says that Silicon and iron were present at much lesser concentrations when in fact they were present at much greater concentrations. So G says that silicon and iron were present at much greater concentrations in the particles than were sulfur and copper. Uh, this was definitely true for the fair weather days. Let's see if it's true for the dust storm days. And we can see again that the data shows that the average concentration of silicon and iron is always higher than 0 0.5 uh, except at the very small Z lesser than 0 0.25 nanometer size. So for most of the data, um, the sizes of the silicon and iron particles are much greater. The average concentrations of the silicon and iron are much greater um, than that of sulfur and copper because sulfur and copper are way below 0 0.5. So G is true for both the dust storm days and for the fair weather days. So the answer is G.